100 arts workers from Broadway and smaller stages citywide joining in song to bring attention to a national bill currently in Congress to get funding to the arts community devastated by this pandemic. It's kind of surreal for me to be back in, in Times Square because I made my Broadway debut in Beauty and the Beast just right over here as well. And it, right after that, September 11th happened. 19 years later, I'm standing in Duffy Square again, and I'm hoping that the United States will come through with us again. It's very um, heartbreaking because I haven't been able to be with my artist brothers and sisters in over six months, and there doesn't seem to be much hope coming right now. So. Um, we were, the, we were the first to be shut down, and it looks like we're going to be the last to be brought back. And after performing the Rent song, Will I? 100 seconds of silence to represent all the senators who can pass this relief bill. The Be an Arts Hero campaign desperate that Congress will pass more than $40 billion in relief aid to the arts. Labor Day, a symbolic one of action. 63% of them are completely unemployed. Over 3.1 million arts workers. And the arts in this country are an $877 billion industry. It's 4.5 of our country's GDP. We bring in I mean, more. These are huge economic engines, and we're being told that Broadway and performances and everything, nothing until next spring. At least until April of 2021. I've been in this business for 20 years, and we had like a short pause during September 11th, but this is otherworldly. Like, I've never seen anything like this. I never thought that would happen, that Broadway would close. I was in a show that was supposed to last forever, frozen, and it, and it closed out of nowhere. All now hoping this visual gathering at the crossroads of the world gets them the support they desperately need.